Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to perform some cleanup on the main menu on our mobile nav project. Okay, so I'm still working on this uh, website, and basically in the recent video, just kind of adjusted the open and close status to display that side panel. However, I do want to clean up this main menu up here. It looks really good when the screen is super wide, but it starts to have some issues when the screen even gets just a little bit narrower than full size. So I want to kind of change some of the settings on this so that way it looks good for different desktop widths and then just goes away when we want to start to activate mobile. And just the opposite, I want to get rid of this mobile icon when it's not necessary. So let's go ahead and tackle those kinds of things. What I'm going to do first is make adjustments to this main menu CSS. So if I head over to my markup, here's my main menu styles. And I realize I am going to have to be a little bit more specific in this because I will ultimately have a navigation menu over in that side panel too. So I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to insert a header type selector in front of all of these references to my nav. So currently, my list items are display inline block. I'm going to take that out because instead I want to use a little bit of Flexbox here. Now, the list items are the children, so I need to have a separate rule just for header nav unordered list. The unordered list is the Flexbox container. So I'm going to do a display flex, and I'm going to do a flex flow row no wrap. That should be pretty good there. Let's go ahead and save that. Head on over to the browser and refresh. And I think we're pretty good about the width. We can see that taking place. However, notice this unfortunate wrapping of my anchor text. That's kind of weird. So I think we can solve that too. Now that's from the anchors themselves. So I'm going to add a property or declaration down here with the white space property and say no wrap. And that's going to get that displaying pretty nicely. And I can see that everything's fine for my mock navigation menu, even through about 945 pixels. So I think what I'll do now is a little media query so that if my, if my device is smaller than 1,000 pixels, then I'm just going to hide this menu. And then I'll make sure that my hamburger icon menu displays. So next order of business is I'll, I'll just move down in my CSS. And I'll create a place for some narrow styles. I'm going to do an app media screen and max width of 1,000 pixels. And for this, I can simply take my header nav and do a display none. Now for the header MN icon, actually that's an ID, so I'll do a hashtag MN icon, that's going to be display block. So basically when I'm under a thousand pixels I want my main nav to not display and I want that icon to display. My icon's already displaying so I need to run up here to my MN icon and I will go ahead and set that to display none. Save that, head to the browser, refresh. Now I'm narrow so I get my icon, fine, and then when I go wide icon disappears and then my horizontal nav displays and that's really what I'm going for there. There's one more thing I want to change. I think I might want to make this header fixed so it doesn't really move when scrolled. So I'm going to head over here, head up to my header rule. It's all the way up at the top. There we go. And I've got it as position relative. You know what? I think I will make it position fixed. I'm okay with the width and the height at the moment, especially for widescreen for, for bigger devices. So I'm still going to do position fixed. Now doing this, I might need to fix, let's find out. Yep, I got to fix a couple things on here. It's a little bit whacked out. So position fixed, and then I need to go ahead and put in top zero pixels, left zero pixels, width 100% kind of brings it back into question, so I'm good with that. But notice this unfortunate result here with my main content. So now that I've done that, I'm going to adjust my main content. Currently there's two M's of padding on all four sides. I'm going to break this out a little bit. 
So when you write it this way, it's top, right, bottom, left. But instead of just doing two M's on the top, I'm going to do a little CSS calc where I take 200 pixels, which is the height of my header, plus two M's. Save that browser and refresh. Much more satisfactory. Cool. I like that. I'm going to make this font a little bit smaller. Now I want to adjust this for mobile. There we go. So I'm going to head down to my narrow styles. And I want my header instead to be a, have a height of just about 80 pixels. So basically when I'm narrow, that header is going to be much smaller, which means I also don't need as much padding there. So then I can say something like my main will have a padding top calc of 80 pixels plus 2 M's. Save that. Browser refresh. Now I must have missed something here. Uh, I think it's because I'm doing padding top. Let me change this out to padding, which is the same property I'm using before. And then I can put 2M, 2M, 2M. Get rid of that semicolon. That could have been my problem right there, actually. Save that. Head on to the browser refresh. That does fix it. But now I'm curious. So padding top. Take this out. Control S. OK, perfect. So that's fine. So now, just by doing those changes on mobile, should get a pretty satisfactory result. So on a narrow device, or even a phone, I do get my slide out mobile nav, but on a wider device I get my horizontal main menu with no mobile icon. So there we go. So just a few quick edits to our page so that we have a widescreen horizontal nav, narrow screen slide out panel for a future mobile nav. Take care.